Hi Watch Family, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I'm doing a review for a bunch of watches who are inspired by the Rolex Explorer and there are options for somebody who doesn't want to spend the money for a Rolex Explorer or just simply does not have the funds to buy one but they still want a watch that gives them that feeling, gives them that excitement uh, of a Rolex Explorer. Before we get started, do a quick wrist check. On my left hand, I have my Tudor Black Pay 58 on a lovely Jubilee by Uncle Straps. On my other hand, I have a Serica Diver. This I just got in about a week ago. This is a uh, Serica 5303, an amazing, amazing looker of a diver and very well known by watch enthusiasts as one of the most beautiful new divers on the market. Let me pour myself a glass of wine here for all you watch people. And thank you for joining me here today. This is for you, cheers. All right, so let's get started here. This is my Explorer 1. This is a 114270 from 2005. It's an amazing, amazing watch that I enjoy very, very much. Um, and I know there are people who don't believe that this is worth the money that this watch is going for. I understand that totally. But they still want something that brings them that little bit of 36 millimeter magic that Rolex is known for. And for those people, there's a couple of options here. We will start with the Smiths. Smiths is a, this is called Smith Everest PRS 25, I believe. Yes. So Smiths and Rolex were both on the same trip when Sir Hillary first got to Mount Everest Peak. Um, none of these watches looked the way these do. Uh, they were a little bit different back then, but which one was on the hand of the explorers back then? That's a debatable story. But bottom line, Rolex capitalized big time on that story and Smiths didn't. Smiths actually went out of business. And they were recently, a couple of years ago, purchased by a company called Time Factors and they brought it back to life. And there you go. It's about 12 height, says has really nice drill lugs. These have Miyota movements. And this one comes on this beautiful Jubilee. It does originally come on a uh, regular oyster style. This is very nice also. 2016, mill clasp, very secure, and it has smiths on the clasp. It's a beautiful, beautiful watch. Miura movement, a printed dial, and amazing loom application. It is definitely better than my Rolex. I have to admit that because that's the truth. Uh, yeah, my Rolex is an older model, 17 years old, so it's not gonna have this kind of crazy loom, but it does the job. So I think Smith, uh, Smith's Deluxe is a very, very good option for um, a Rolex Explorer-like watch. 
Next, we will go to Islander. This is a also a 36. It's about 12 height. With a nice drill lux, uh, drill lux also. This comes on this beautiful oyster style bracelet with female links. This has an open case back and it has a uh, NH36 movement. Very nice. They chose to use different hands and I applaud them for that. That's very nice. It separates a little bit from the look of the Explorer, but still has a three, six and nine and they're loomed. Very, very nice actually. Look at that. No loom on the other hours but still looks amazing. Sign crown, nice clasp, really nice. And next one is WMT, a little bit lesser known brand. They do homages to Rolex watches. Sign crown, nice drill lugs, 12. This has acrylic. The other ones have sapphire. Really nice clasp. More close to the Rolex design of that era. The rivets, these have hollow links. Both of those have full milled links. But this is very nice, I really like this. This is more of a homage, perhaps not to the 1016, but maybe older versions. It's done with patina, those are not. But it looks good. Might not be everybody's cup of tea, but still, I think, brings brings you back to an, an old, old Rolex. Really cool, really cool looking. Now, the loom is a little bit different. Only the hands have loom. This kind of does a homage to Rolex is with tritium, where the tritium is by now dead and just has a little bit on the hands. But these hands reflect the light really nice. I can't say they don't. It's a beautiful, beautiful piece. Side crown. WMT actually means watch experimental unit. Even has a reference number. These all have 100 meters, and they all have a screw-down crown. Now, you tell me which one you think it's better. On the hand, they all wear very, very nice. I'm going to put them on my hand, and we'll see which one do you think looks better. Let's start with this vintage one. It looks good. Yeah, but it has a nice signed clasp there. Beautiful, beautiful vintage patinaed dial. And keeping true to the old Rolex says so this has acrylic. I really like this actually. The next one we'll go to Smith's. Smith's very nice. It's a little bit smaller dial, I, th I think. Maybe I'm wrong, but I think it has a smaller dial. 
thus makes it look a little bit small in the Rolex. But it's done really, really nice. This Jubilee looks amazing also. This Jubilee is, you know, sometimes they have it for sale on their website. So you tell me, does this look amazing or what? I think it does. Very nice on the wrist. So we just have one more. And then we'll, we'll close this up. Islander. Every time I do a video with Islander, I call it Icelander. Maybe today I won't do that. <laughs> I don't know. Let's see. <laughs> I have a history with the Islander. They sent me watches before. I bought stuff from them. Mark is in charge of this company. And he's a really nice guy. I like that this has female air links. Follows the wrist a lot better. My Rolex doesn't, obviously. The clasp, yeah, it's a little bit bulky, but that's okay. The dial is done very, very nice on this watch. Amazing, amazing look. So let me know, what do you think? Which one do you think is better? compared to a Rolex Explorer. All of these look amazing, I think. I think out of all of these, I like the Islander more than, more than the rest. I don't know why. Nothing wrong with the Smiths. I just like, like the feeling on the wrist. It gives you the same feeling on the wrist that the Explorer does, and that's what you want. It's a little bit smaller, kind of, uh, if your you know, wrist is seven, this is going to look small on your hand. And the patina bad boy here, this looks really nice. It has the same kind of jiggle noise that an old Explorer would have. So, yeah, they are all nice and they will all give you that feeling. Now, they will not replace a Rolex, but... You would have fun with it. And fun is what we all looking for when we're looking at these watches. I'll put links up with the information of these companies and where you can get them. This is hard to get. Um, usually there's a big time wait period between releases, six months or so. And you have to be there within a minute, they sell out. Find them on eBay for $800 if you like, but the retail is $325. These retail on their website, $580, not in stock. The only one available today, you can go and buy one, is the Islander. All you gotta do is type Islander 36 millimeters, you go straight to the website, you buy it. It's $285. That is insane amount of money of value for this watch i'm not sure how they make any money on this 285 i mean what does it cost them to make it 50 dollars? i don't know but you got to make a profit I'm, I'm sure they make a profit otherwise they wouldn't make it so this is done very 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 nice a little bit thicker if you look at the rolex Rolex has more of a crystal, less of a bezel. This is a little bit the opposite. You don't see the crystal that much, but you see more bezel. The case is not the same, but it's close. I think the closest, the case, I think the closest is the Smiths with the curvature and the lugs. Yeah, I think so. And WMT is not far from it though, case-wise. They're all very nice. That's all I got. Let me know what you think. Which one of these bad boys would you pick as a, just a toy until you, maybe until you get your own Explorer. 
let me know in the comments. If you like this video, I have others. You can scroll through and uh, give these videos a like, a subscribe. I know there's other watches out there that I have, you know, a reference to the Explorer, like this San Martin is one company that's coming up with really good quality these days from what I see and hear. And there's always Laurier. Laurier watches, they have the Falcon. It's a 39, but it still looks amazing. I tried to get one here, but I wasn't able to. Maybe at one point in the future, we'll do a review on that. But um, that's all I got for today. Let me know what you think in the comments. And I'll see you on the next one. Have yourself a good day. And cheers to all of you. Have a good day.